Have you ever owned a dog before? No, but I have a plan, and recently that plan involves a dog. Sam, home sweet home. See, the new store manager, he is a dog lover. Isn't it great? You adopted a dog with the intention of impressing a perfect man. You really know how to check off all the boxes. A lot of people come in here looking for a dog, but they don't realize how much work goes into them. I am not one of those people, trust me. This is not your bed, down. Go inside. Go to bed. I may have exaggerated about how smart Sam is. We have been entered as contestants into an agility show. I didn't connect with any of the trainers. I can say, hire you to train Sam. It's really the owner that gets the training. I will be a model student. Sit. Okay. Let's see how he behaves with you. <laughs> it's great that you're having a little human interaction. You can't just spend your entire life surrounded by dogs. All the things that are great about being a dog, they can teach us. Oh like living in the moment. It's kind of like the dog whisperer of trainers. <laughs> Very funny. I know this whole exercise was to make another check mark on your to-do list, yeah. but it clearly has become more than that. I just didn't know how much it was gonna love Sam. Just Sam? You take a chance on people for the sake of these dogs. Only now it's you who needs to take a chance. It is an amazing bond our pets have with us. And that's why it's important to find the right person to adopt them, like you. Thought I had everything under control, and now everything is a mess. And the reason you adopted Sam, it's not because you really wanted a dog. Wait, Kevin, I don't think you understand. Kira. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Let's go. I figured finding someone faithful and dependable was the most important thing. Wait, wait, wait. But I was wrong. Yeah. Finding someone who feels like your best friend, that is also important. Sit. <laughs> Stay. I know, right?